Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Meredith Mitchell with Big Fox News. Scott has the night off. The factory of the future is what the Corel Brands Corning facility will soon be known as. Corel Brands LLC announced today it would invest $50 million into its Corning facility in the next four years. This investment is part of a project to modernize the leading kitchenware products facility, transforming what was formerly known as the pressware plant into the factory of the future. The project was supported in part by New York State Southern Tier Source upstate revitalization and the Steuben County IDA. We have made a very uh, clear decision to greatly expand our new product development efforts so that our products can remain current and attractive to the American consumer and to consumers around the world. The amount of resources that have been given to us and working with the strong men and women here in the Corning facility to develop new products and new capabilities to serve the needs of consumers in the future is very much part of this four-year plan. So what has me excited about this project is not only the fact that we're going to be able to continue to, to, to grow our, our technology here, but how excited I am about all the many new products we're going to be offering to consumers around the world that we're proudly made here in the United States. Uh, well, one of the advantages of uh, the state of New York is, I mean, it's a true partnership. I mean, uh, this investment is a result of not only our company, but working with Empire State Development and the governor's team, uh, working with our, our local officials in the county, with Steuben County IDA, working with uh, the city of Corning, working with NYSEG. It's really a, an incredible example of teamwork. This new investment will allow the company to expand production and create 25 new jobs in addition to the 515 existing positions since its introduction in 1970. Corel Glass and Dishware has become the number one dinnerware brand in the U.S. Corning residents came together to help the owner of a longtime Market Street establishment. The building's owner served Donna Robbins of Donna's Restaurant an eviction notice last month and told her to be out by September the 1st. Now residents have a reason to rejoice. Donna's has found a new location just down the street. Donna's Restaurant will move a few doors down to 58 East Market Street, the location of the old Dippity Doodahs, a move Robbins said would not have been possible without the community's help. Corning Enterprises, Amory Holton, the Gaffer District, Peter Krogh, who's the owner of the building. Between all of them, I ended up back on Market, to stay on Market Street. It's going to have different outside, but we're going to do as much as possible to make it look like this. It's going to be the old Donna's with a few new updates. We are hoping October 25th, that's the date we're shooting for. Thank you to everybody for your phone calls, your texts, your messages, your love. Without, without them, I couldn't have done it. I've been Corning all my life and probably at least 40 years. A little bit before Donna start, took over when it was Bacallus's, but I've been here with Donna for a number of years. At least once or twice a week, easily. Yeah, very, very happy. It, it gives us a, a, some of the city history stills here. If people can all get together, they know each other. There are a lot of people you'll find that come in here every day, and she knows everyone that comes in, and she can tell you the order. Donna's Restaurant, which has been at its 48 East Market Street location for 34 years, will have its last day of business this Saturday. The new location has a target opening date of October the 25th. And you may want to stay out of Seneca Lake for the time being. The Seneca Lake Pure Waters Association says a water sample taken a few days ago tested positive for a toxic algae bloom. The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation confirmed these findings. The water sample was taken from the Perry Point area on the west side of the lake. Runoff from recent flooding has helped contribute to the problem. The American Red Cross Finger Lakes branch will be distribute free cleanup kits and other flood supplies and relief supplies at three sites tomorrow in Schuyler and Seneca counties. In Schuyler County, you can go to the Health and Human Services in Montour Falls, the Presbyterian Church in Hector, and in Seneca County, the Lodi Volunteer Fire Department. Supplies will be handed out from 10 until 3 o'clock. Those in need can also find health services, mental health services, spiritual care, and even client casework. 
Well, there's a hint of fall in the air, but we are looking ahead to some warmer weather. Meteorologist Kim Walker is in next with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, welcome back, everyone. We are expecting some patchy frost, or I should say patchy fog to develop in the overnight hours, especially because of all the moisture that we had from the recent rain. Plenty of sunshine during the day, though. We do have the possibility of rain returning this weekend, but temperatures will continue to warm up in the upcoming days and into uh, next week because we're going to see a lot of sunshine as we move into uh, the early part of next week. Temperatures today only in the 70s, and that's because of high pressure that's in control of our weather weather, keeping us sunny and nice. Temperatures tonight drop down into the 50s. Meredith? Jen, thanks for joining us here on Big Fox News. We hope you have a great night.